EIDL grant is finally confirmed. After months of reporting on this channel, SBA now confirms the EIDL $10,000 EIDL grant will be paid. In this video, I go over the original EIDL application of 2020. It's important to know it because a new round of business grants will be announced this week from Joe Biden. How do you get an EIDL? What's an EIDL grant? And how do you get the money? Enjoy this overnight L8 video on the EIDL grant. EIDL grant money is being delayed once again, more than a shipment of scarves to a Washington DC TJ Maxx. Hey everybody, this is LA with an EIDL grant update for this evening. And this is our second EIDL video of the day. Earlier, we delivered an EIDL loan update with a lot of shocking bombshells, catch that. And this is LA Late. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert when you hear more turmoil about EIDL and there's just turmoil brewing uh, hotter than a cup of coffee. So let's get to some of your EIDL questions um, about the grant before that shocking bombshell about whether or not grants are really coming again. Um, it's very, it's just a hot mess. Robin W. I think that scarf band is keeping the money for herself. Very well said. Amelia, I give up at this point. I'm an OG a April applicant. Got denied in May. Credit dropped 70 points. Set the reconsideration. Got no. Got the link for the grant last Tuesday. Still no grant. Uh, stay with me. I'm going to be answering that type of question shortly. Uh, Gildan got $1,000 grant. Took them seven days. Grandma waiting for the grant. Uh, Lori, 10 days. Still no grant. Intercepted. Looking good, LA. Thank you. Um... Bag where told my grant plan to apply and put the grant money in her account last night. So that person got the grant. Applied three days ago. I got $1,000 grant. Is this part of the $10,000 EIDL grant? It is. Matt, it's been a week, still no grant. Janari, applied last Monday. Um, haven't seen the grant. <laughs> I could just replay myself over and over again for these comments. William Mickelson, people will be off UI by the time they get the grant. So William hasn't gotten the grant either. Kathy, oh, finally got my grant today. 1,000, that's it. So Kathy got it. KL, when applying for the loan grant, it asks for your EIN. When I get to the section about ownership, Okay, so this is a great question. Finally, <laughs> question. It's like a lot of ranting and raving about where's my damn grant money and no questions. So here's a question. When you apply for the EIDL grant, if you're applying for your business and your business is 500 employees or less and you put the business EIN, you put the business name, you get to the section where it asks business ownership. If the owner of the business is you or a person or your sister, your brother, or there's two owners, you put social security numbers, your name and your social security number. Pretty easy. Uh, the czar. As far as you know, you can get both PEIDL and PUAs. Both are not using the EIDL loan to pay yourself and only use it for business purposes. Brian M. B. Hey, LA. LA uh, received an email from SBA waiting for the portal. I haven't gotten it. I'm in April 1st. Black hole app. Well, that's good. It's progress. But again, he hasn't got his grant. Shandon Alexander. Um, $1,800 loan. Only received $1,000. I asked for reconsideration. The, um, I don't know what you're asking for reconsideration for. I think you're asking for more money. Um, tell me what happens, but she's going to say no, sorry. Uh, Gucci Maine, good news. I got approved for the I got approved for the EIDL loan. The grant reps told me the grant is a separate uh, thing and should be deposited shortly. Thank you, LA. Okay, so where's his grant money? More about that shortly. A a JG, thank you for the intro. Well, thank you. If you're new to this channel, um, thank you for joining. Yesterday was our most trafficked a day ever, most new viewership ever, and we're coming up on our two-month anniversary, the 25th. Um, thanks for staying with us from the entire time. We're approaching 10,000 subscribers and 1.8 million viewers, so really quite exciting. Phil, um... He says SBA's policy and overrides the CARES Act. I was shocked. Tim Rice, nearly three months, two senators, 
And finally, I've been funded. So it works on contacting a representative. Wow, Tim Rice, congratulations. Brian, after receiving my $1,000 grant, I was frozen my three credit bureau. Um, my scores have remained the same. Can I unfreeze the account by a single phone call? I'm consider I don't know what, and he's trying to do a mortgage. I'm, this is not a mortgage shell yet. <laughs> And I don't know anything about that. So I wish I could help you, but I can't. Kelly, happy anniversary, Elliot. Well, thank you. Is it birthday or anniversary? What do you think? Drop in the comments below. Is Elliot celebrating a birthday or anniversary? Randy Bly. Sticky fingers, Javita strikes again. Randy Bly from Alabama. I added my second application for EIDL with the new streamlined portal. I received an email saying multiple applications would cancel one. Um, then I received an email that the other one that canceled it, as a result, they canceled both applications. Uh, call SBA, Randy from Alabama. I love your comments daily. Call SBA. That is a hot mess. Uh, Hardcore Training, who I started yesterday's video with answering his questions. So he says, good morning, Ally. Thank you for answering our questions. There's some more confusion that needs to be answered. Of course there is. Uh, so here we go again. Our LLC was permanently closed last year. We tried to reinstate it. They told us we had to file a new LLC. Um, our gross income was, wow, a lot of income. The bomb show is our new LLC is pending with the same name, but it'll show our new, as a new LLC. We'll be using our original EIN. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Love your show. We'll train a lot of business owners. Have told them to watch your channel. The input will be awesome about buying a scarf. Uh, congratulations. Keep me updated. Don't leave us, uh, Randy. Uh, no, no, not Randy. Um, hardcore training and uh, stay with us. I want to hear what happens. Tim Wilson, bombshell twinkie time every time. Looking forward to sending new shirt money. Yes. How's the shirt today? Miguel the Bronx. Hey, I received your email. Uh, you've been wonderful. Your channel's awesome. I'll be supporting it. I will be supporting it again. As I said before, anyone who's benefited from your guidance should donate at least $100. So Miguel the Bronx donate $100 overnight. And as you know, if you donate, we always send a thank you email, whether it's $5, $1 or, you know, an enormous amount of sum of money. Uh, whatever it is, we said a thank you. Thank you to the viewers who supported this channel. Uh, thank you for Miguel the Bronx. Um, he really uh, had to wait through this process and came out a winner. So um, thank you for your incredible support. And with that, let's get to the bombshells of the day, uh, which is really quite, you know, sometimes a bombshell is what how to get things done, and sometimes it's a bombshell of what's not happening, and that's what today is. What's not happening is people are not getting their grant money. Uh, so as you know, this channel was, you know, recording last Monday when that wonderful Scarface relaunched EIDL, or Idol as she calls it, and said everything was going to go wonderful. Um, and it did for the first 24, 48 hours. People were getting grant money from 24 hours of applying. And just like, you know, I, I, maybe I'm clairvoyant or whatever the expression is, but I said, hey, I guarantee you by next week, people are not going to get the grant money. Here we are. People are not getting grant money. People are not getting grant money who applied last week. People are not getting grant money who applied in May. People are not getting grant money who applied in March. People are not getting grant money who applied in April. So if you're wondering what's happening, the answer is it's called Javid's Gold Poster movie. Everyone is not getting money, grant money. Now, there are occasional viewers, as you saw in the comments there, that are getting grant money. What is to think about this? I don't know. I don't know. So if your friend or neighbor, your sister or brother or niece got that grant for $1,000, yes, on last Monday within 24 hours, God bless them. And you, if you have not, I'm sorry, but that is currently the scenario. And as this channel has always detailed in the two months it's been around, um, it just changes within 24 hours. So I could, you know, I could sit down tomorrow and it could be totally different. Uh, so understand, unlike, you know, some other people who want to tell you one thing and not record anything for the next three months and say it's the same situation, it's not. Javita changes by the hour. So uh, the only way to get your grant money is wait if you're a new applicant. And if your loan is denied, you need to ask for the grant. If your loan is approved, you need to ask for the grant. Um, and it's back to that old, crap of, you know, writing a letter saying, where's my grant money? Call an SBA, so where's my grant money? Really quite disconcerting. Uh, Cy Young, Applied Ag, um, just solo, got an email, Portal Info, got grant. Oh, congratulations. Afflement, uh, great info. Well, thank you. Zero employees, does that get the $1,000 grant? Yes. Six days ago, I applied. Um, Mike Hickerson had to be in existence by February 2nd. Great. Peggy, love watching. Well, thank you, Peggy. 
Uh, Paul, love your videos. Well, thank you. Uh, Lauren got an email. Show Javita was in our state with our state senator, saying how good SBA has done for our state. <laughs> Get money, Hosa first. Mix in Orlando. Um, Tuesday morning with no credit, nothing, but they do not want to give me my grant for my active LLC. I also worked for over two months. Awful. Stay with it. Um, serving the most God. <laughs> Her husband got approval for two EIDL loans, and she has waited two months, and he gets everything within a week. Still no grant for either of us. So that's interesting. Her husband got two EIDL loans. She hasn't gotten any loan. Uh, but neither of us, them, that's three applications, have gotten a grant. Uh, LA Light t-shirts, uh, LA Light Designs, with seasonal business selling t-shirts. I've been in business for nine years, funded for a loan and grant. My question is, can I apply for another EID loan for my Uber uh, business? Yes, if it's under your Schedule C, absolutely. Dimitri, um, email address, user computers. Uh, I do get PUI. Um, I apply for EIDL. Um, Bob Gabriel, in Florida, you have to apply. Um, that's a PUA question. Brandy, another a great LLA video. Well, thank you. Uh, Lawrence, I'm a sole proprietor with a DBA and an EIN. I'm receiving PUA and Social Security. I have an EIDL. Uh, I have an LLC, an EIN, an EIDL. Do I report my unemployment office certificate form, the EIDL, to be subtracted from a PUA? Contact them. It's not quite clear. Uh, <laughs> more comments about Javita. Tony. Brown. I personally know four people who got the EIDL grant of $10,000 deposit in their account this week. Some applied last week. Some applied last Monday. I applied 330. I've only received a $1,000 grant. How do I get the rest of my grant money? We all only have one employee. So Tony Brown says he knows four people who lied to SBA saying that they had 10 employees to get $10,000 grants. Awful. Awful. Uh, the answer is you're not getting the rest of your money because you did the lawful thing and your friends or who people you know committed crimes. Uh, perfect body beauty. This is why I love you. This is why. I, oh, I love her. So she actually works for Macy's part time and is also a makeup artist uh, with an LLC. So she's exactly the scenario I've been describing in the videos. I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's great. Derek Fino, I have a question for a friend who is an Uber driver as the wind picks up. He used to grant a $1,000 loan offer for $32,000. Could he use this $32,000 to pay off his car? Jeez, that's a hard one. He can use it to pay his car insurance, power repairs, car gas, pay off the car? I don't think so. I don't think so. That does not sound like working capital. Less seven six. It's just common sense. You can't collect employment twice. Common sense sometimes doesn't work with people, though. Uh, if you have questions today's video, drop them in the comments below. This is one of two EIDL videos. As always, like and subscribe, and stay in LA for more.